Hey there, Mike Giver enthusiasts. Welcome back to our channel. If you're a Mac Mini aficionado, you're in for a treat today. In this video, we're diving into a unique challenge I faced when modifying the Mac Mini M2 Pro to run on DC power. Stick around to learn about the hurdles, creative solutions, and the ultimate outcome. And if you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss out on our tech adventures. Let's jump in. Apple has ditched the Molex connectors we've seen with the non-pro models, and opted for a simple two-connector setup. I like this. Much easier to upgrade. I give Apple 10 out of 10 for this decision. As you see, I've already started testing for its polarity and it looks like the outer screw is negative. Now, you know I've been customizing Mac Minis to run on DC power for a while. It's been a fantastic journey until recently when I encountered an exciting challenge. A customer sent in a Mac Mini M2 Pro, which, as you might know, has a larger motherboard and a limited space inside its compact case. The M2 Pro is almost a third larger than the M1 or M2 sibling. And oh! Who can guess what that blue thing hanging off our M1? Hint! Check out our other video. Apple went from a 12 volts 12.5 amp power supply used in the M1 and M2 to a 12.6 volts 14.7 amp power supply in the M2 Pro. I was determined to find a solution. My first approach was to hunt for a suitable DC board that could fit inside the Mac Mini's tight quarters. But there was an additional challenge, the DC board needed to provide more amps to support the power-hungry Mac Mini M2 Pro. After searching high and low, Unfortunately, I hit a roadblock. None of the off-the-shelf DC boards matched the size requirements and power specifications needed for this customization. In close collaboration with my customer, we decided to go with an external DC power supply as a practical solution. While it wasn't the initial plan, sometimes a little flexibility can lead to great outcomes. My customer already had a suitable DC power supply, so all I'd have to do is just wire in a jack. I did warn him that he must make sure the voltage is 12 volts and nothing else. Pay close attention to the polarity here. And we are done. And here's where the silver lining comes in. The Mac Mini M2 Pro is now ready for the external DC power supply. While it's a bit different from my usual mods, it's a testament to the versatility and adaptability of technology. Sometimes, solutions emerge from unexpected corners. That's a wrap on this unique journey folks. Big thanks to all of you for joining me today. If you enjoyed this adventure into the world of custom tech mods, 
don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel. Your support means the world to us, and it keeps us motivated to bring you more exciting content. Until next time, Mike Giver off. Connect with us on social media for updates, more content, and to stay tuned for our upcoming projects. Thanks again for watching, and remember, stay curious and keep exploring the endless possibilities of technology.